Okay, Ken back here again with another Viking sewing machine. This is the Viking 6440 machine and I want to show you how it goes through uh, the eight layers of denim. Uh, I want you to listen to the sound because it, it, whenever you go through something really thick it really sounds loud but if you go through something thinner it'll sound um, lighter. Okay, so here we go, we'll go through the eight layers of denim. Okay, now I just went right through it. Okay, and I sewed this one for the other picture. So I went through a couple times, and you have the back, so it goes through really good. Uh, now, here's three layers of the same denim. denim. All right. Because I don't know many people that go through eight layers. <clears throat> but uh, there you go. It went right straight through it. So now we'll go. I have the, the canvas here. This is 10 ounce canvas. I get this at uh, a home center. It's a drop cloth that I found. And it is 10 ounce, so we'll go through that. Okay. And it was a little bit louder. Cut off my threads here so you can. But that went right through it. Alright. Went right through the back. Here's the same canvas, but only three. Alright. Sounded much lighter. So there's your your canvas. Alright. The five layers of vinyl. Well this has a little bit extra lift to it. You know, it's got that and you can put that down. And I usually like to start it off in the material because it gives you a full stroke when you have it in the material versus trying to punch down through it the first time. Okay. Now I went straight through that vinyl. Alright. This is your uh, leather, all right, and the leather is a thick, thicker leather. It's kind of like a belt leather, all right. Went straight through it, no problems there. I know a lot of people on. Uh, the knobs and stuff. I took this apart. This didn't. This had a piece that was missing to it in the beginning, so I replaced it with a new one. Uh, I know plenty of people like to know how easy it is. I make these knobs easy because everybody knows that these jam up, but it's really easy to move. All right. Uh, the other thing is this guy down here um, turning. A lot of times you can't get it in the sink. You know. For your buttonhole and stuff. So there it is. You have your reverse, you have your reverse lock down. Okay. And uh, basic your stitch length. This is the stitch width. So uh, I also, you also have a light. There's a light that works on it. Your pressure. Uh, put tension up here and your regular thread tension is in the front uh, and that's basically the machine the well the deck here I did paint a little bit because it had a few little scratches in it and stuff and I just you know it just made it look nicer that it was one try to make it one color but uh, that you don't have to worry about it's it's all cast aluminum uh, put a new needle plate on it, okay, 
so you don't have any problems. Plus I also have the straight stitch needle plate that's going with the machine. So, okay, well that's the machine, so happy bidding. Um, thank you for watching the video.